Bench Lizana. In this session, we will discuss about object based data model in TBMS. Imagine we have to design database for college. What is the real world entities involved with college? They are college code, students, lecturer, course, subject, etc. Once all the entities are listed, we find out the relationship between them and try to map all of them. Also, we list the what are the attributes related to each entity like student ID, student name, course name, lecturer, different subject, pass mark, grade levels, etc. Here we are not bothered about what data value is stored, what is the size of each data, etc. We know only the entities involved, their attributes and mapping at this stage. Object-oriented data model are based on this concept. It is designed using entities in the real world, attributes of each entity and their relationship. It picks up the each things or object in the real world which is involved in their requirement. There are two types of object-based data models. One is entity relationship data model, another one is object oriented data model. Entity relationship data model is the one of most important data model which forms the basis for the all the designs in the database world. It defines the mapping between the entities in the database. Object oriented database model along with the mapping between the entities. It describes the state of each entity and the task performed by them. ER model, it represents the all these entities, attributes and their relationship in the form of picture to make the developer understand the system better. An example, a simple ER diagram, it maps entity like student, lecturer, class, subjects with each other to form the relation among them. It also lists the attributes of each objects. Are we able to understand what are the entities involved, what are the attributes? and the relationships that we are discussing better here. Yes, it is clean and clear what a student database look like. It gives the clear understanding of how they are scattered and mapped. If we have missed any entities or attributes or mapping, we have easily identified here. If we represent it in some table, it would be difficult to identify this gap. In this diagram, entities or real world objects are represented in a rectangular box. Their attributes are represents in ovals. Primary keys of entities are underlined. All these entities are mapped using diamond. This is one of the methods of representing ER model. There are many different forms of representation. More details of this model we will discuss in upcoming lectures. Basically, ER diagram is the graphical representation of real world objects with their attributes and relationship. It makes the system easily understandable. This model is considered as a top-down approach of designing a requirement. Advantage of ER model are It makes the requirement simple and easily understandable by representing simple diagrams. One can convert ER diagram into record-based data model as easily. Easy to understand ER diagrams. Disadvantages are no standard notations are available for ER diagram. There is great flexibility in the notation. It all depends upon the designer how he draws it. It means for high level designs, we cannot simplify for low level designs like coding. Object oriented data model. This is another method of representing real world objects. It considers each object in world as objects and isolates it from each other. It groups its related functionalities together and allows inheriting its functionality to other related subgroups. Let us consider an employee database to understand this model better. In this database, we have different types of employees, engineer, accountant, manager, clerk. But all these employees belongs to person group. Person can have different attributes like name, address, age, phone. What do we do if we want to get person's address and phone number? We write to separate procedure like SP get address, SP get phone number. What about all the employees? They too have all the attributes what a person has. 
In addition, they have their employee ID, employee type, department ID attributes to identify them in organization and the department. We have to retrieve the department details and hence we have SP Git department details procedure. Currently, see we need to have only this attributes and functionalities. Since all employees inherits the attributes and functionalities of person, we can reuse those features in employee. But do what we do that? We group the features of person. We group the features of the person together into class. Hence, a class has all attributes and functionalities. For example, we would create a person class and it will have name, address, age, phone and get address, SP get phone as procedure in it. The value for these attributes at any instances of the time or object that is John, Troy, 25, 245, 345, get address of John, get phone of John, form on person object. Matthew Fraser Town 285645 677 get address of Matthew get phone of Matthew forms another person object. Now we will create another class called employee which will inherit all functionalities of person class. In addition it will have attribute employee ID, employee type and department ID and SPG department details procedure. Different objects of employee class are engineer, accountant, manager and clerk. Here we can observe that the features of the person are available only if class is inherited from it. It would be a black box to any other classes. The features of this model is called encapsulation. It binds the features in one class and hides it from other classes. It only visible to its objects and any inherited class. Advantages of object oriented data model Inheritance property. Because of this model, we can reuse attributes and functionalities. It reduces the cost of maintaining the same data multiple times. Also, these informations are encapsulated and there is no fear being misused by other objects. If we need any new features, we can easily add new class inherited from parent class and adds new features. Hence, it reduces the overhead and maintenance cost. Inheritance feature. It's become more flexible in the case of any changes. Codes are reused because of inheritance. Since each class binds the attributes and its functionality, it is the same as representing a real world object. We can see each object as a real entity, hence it's more understandable. Disadvantages of object oriented data model. It is not widely developed and complete to use it in database system hence it is not acceptable by users it is an approach for solving the requirement it is not a technology hence it fails to put in database management system in next lecture we will discuss about physical data model thank you for watching